White House just announced Trump won't be attending Veterans Day Memorial at Arlington Cemetery. President Donald Trump has spent much of his short-lived political career exploiting our military servicemen and using them as a cudgel for the twisted, self-aggrandizing conception of nationalism that he sells to supporters at his rally. But it appears that when it comes to actually honoring them for their service, he's not willing to put up with a little rain. Just two days after Trump inspired outrage for bailing on a ceremony honoring the fallen Americans who died in the First World War because of rain, the White House has announced that he won't be visiting Arlington National Cemetery today. There's a 90% chance of rain today at Arlington. Philip Crowther tweet at Philip in DC, Trump won't be leaving the White House today, per press office. No visit to Arlington National Cemetery on Veterans Day. Traditionally, if the president is in Washington, D.C., Trump was overseas last year, he pays a visit to Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, where over 400,000 of our nation's military dead have been laid to rest. President Clinton gave a speech honoring the fallen all eight years. President Obama missed two due to overseas travel but never failed to go when he had the chance. Can you even imagine the reaction from Fox News if President Obama had skipped even one Veterans Day because he'd rather sit inside and watch television all day? But don't worry, folks, the president has found his own way to honor our fallen warriors. Sam Stein tweet At Sam Stein, Trump may not be going to Arlington today, but he is at least offering up a 40 percent Veterans Day discount on campaign merch while he speaks often of our armed forces at his rallies. In practice, Trump can't be bothered to give them the time of day. Donald Trump waged a heartless feud against the widow of slain Green Beret or David Johnson, used the death of Chief of Staff General Kelly's son as a cudgel to attack President Obama with, famously dodged a meeting with veterans by sending Omarosa to meet with them instead, and slandered the parents of an Iraq war hero because they were Muslim. There's also the time he tried to get veteran vendors kicked off of New York's Fifth Avenue because they were unsightly, or the time he skipped a Fox News debate to hold a fundraiser for veterans and then had to be bullied by the media into actually paying out the money. While the president publicly worships our veterans as part of his patriotic minstrel show for all of his hooting and baying fans, he's made it clear time and time again that he couldn't care less for their sacrifices beyond their own political utility to him and his ambitions.